Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And this in front of us is really, really cool. This is the Explore Pro action camera voice broadcast, world's first voice broadcast action camera. And we're gonna go ahead and open it on up and take a little look-see, little slide box there. Let's go ahead and pull out the accessories first. And they are labeled accessories and camera and all that fun stuff. Now, if you're interested in it, I will go ahead and link below where you can pick it up yourself. So look in the description box below the video where you can read more about it and pick one up yourself after the review is over. We got our little instruction manual, which is always nice, figuring out the different uh, frame rates and all that stuff and quality rates. We got a nice little wrist strap there. We have a remote system here and that wrist strap is probably for the remote system or a tie down system to wherever you wanna do it. We have a micro USB to a USB cable there, probably for charging it. We have zip ties here. We have sticky mounts, and we also have a very small cable wiring there to harness it in wherever you need to. Microfiber cloth. Here is a waterproof backing here. Here we have some different mounts there. A tripod slip-on mount and sticky tape on the back of that. More little clips and levers and screws, just like your GoPro, but this one comes with quite a few more. This is would be like a helmet one here that slips on. This would be your bicycle mount here. Very nice, guys. And this right here is another Velcro strap here. Very cool. This would be our battery right here. This is gonna be a little big, large, oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's like a clip, so that would like clip into something. Here we have some more little mounts there. More little mounts there and screw tips, and then this would be a tripod type of a holder or a casing where you could use that on a selfie stick or tripod without the waterproof casing. Very nice, and that is our accessories there. And so now, let's go ahead and take out our camera, and that's gonna do it for the box there. Very nice, guys. Let's go ahead and open this guy on up. And if I didn't mention, this is gonna be 4K, ladies and gentlemen, 4K. We have 30 meters waterproof, 170 degree viewing angle, two point and a two inch LCD screen on the back. All right, let's grab this camera on out of here and let's take a little look-see at what we got. Very nice, guys. So that extra waterproof back door they give you is an extra one and the one on it is the same exact thing there. Very, very cool. We do have a clip already on there. And again, these mounts are exactly like GoPros. Just screw on, you can undo the different mounts, etc. And you do have some plastic around the back of it here and on the front cover that you do need to pull off. And it has a latching system on the top here that we need to unclip there. That releases in the back, that comes out, and then we need to remove that little, that piece of plastic there. And you probably need to take the microfiber cloth and clean off the lens after you remove that. But it's a good looking camera, jet black with a nice little red power on button there. And so before we do power it on, we do need to stick in the battery and we might have to charge the battery. Video start. our walk and we're testing out this new GoPro camera that's why you're probably wondering what's going on we're also testing the volume seeing how that is let's go on inside and get some stuff done now the windshield is a little bit dirty but we're gonna be testing out the nighttime shot from inside the car driving down a dark street just with the street lights on to the left just to kind of test the different low light capabilities Back power. again the camera is outside of the case and has been during the whole entire testing time and my finger is on it like a vlogging camera where my middle finger is on the right hand side. My thumb is on the bottom left. Hopefully I'm not blocking any microphone imports or whatnot, but we're also gonna be testing the audio quality of this compared to other cameras and to see how good it is. Let's say you were to use this as a dash camera for like Uber X driving or Uber driving. This would have what it would look like here, the field of view in the back of the car behind me if you had it up on like a windshield mount, etc., like this. 
showing your passengers or if you were doing pranks having it in the corner or the other corner here showing down on you right there. So hopefully that gives you kind of a just of the clarity and whatnot. And I am filming in, I believe, 60 frames per second and full HD 1080p. Right now, guys, we are in full 4K, 24 frames per second. So we're seeing how this looks in comparison to what we just saw. Again, this is just normal low light indoor, or not low light, but I have the light right above me. We're also going to check out a couple more settings. And again, I'm not really sure where the mic input is. It's either on the sides, which I'm pretty sure, I think the speaker's on one side, and over by the memory card area, I think the mic is right over here. It sounds pretty good, again, outside of the case, is which we have this in right now. And so, of course, with a waterproof case, it would sound like GoPro very muffled, or probably very little sound you could actually hear. So now we're back in 60 frames per second, full 1080p, and I'm actually at 140 degree angle. So you're probably not seeing 170 degrees like you just did. Now we're at 140, and we're gonna work our way down. They do give you different options if you wanna take it from really wide to more straight on. Now we're in 110 degree angle as it's narrowing in. My arm is the same distance away from my face. Now let's go down to 70. Again, this is 110 degree. Okay, we're in 70 degree angle as I've gone from really wide to narrow. So how does this look? How does it sound? Next, we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the case and test out the sound inside the case here. Well guys, overall a very solid camera. Now again, a couple pros and a couple cons. Now a couple issues that we did see exactly at the very end of the video was the sound quality inside the case. It wasn't even being able to pick up my voice inside the case at an arm's length away like this, like you were vlogging or so. So just know that the sound quality, you're not gonna be able to pick up anything inside the waterproof case. And also with the voice prompt we heard video start, that is if voice prompt is on, but you have the option of turning that off and you have the option of turning off the date and timestamp as well if that annoys you in the bottom left corner but if you want this for a dash camera type of a thing on a windshield mount or something like that that would be a good option to have for that type of feature now also we did notice a little bit of shakiness in the camera footage as I was walking or during driving or so so just know that for a budget action camera it is very solid with a very cool features Definitely some awesome mounts. You get a lot more than GoPro. So just know that, again, this is a budget camera, not a $400 camera. So you're gonna get a little bit less than you would with like a big dog $400 GoPro type of a camera. But overall solid, but definitely just know what you're getting. Now where I picked this up from, again, I'll link in the description box below. And I also picked up this guy right here. This is a little small, little teeny tiny quad. Has a really cool controller right there flowing around my house, really solid and actually pretty stable. I definitely dig it. It has a little battery that hooks in right there that is not there currently at the moment. But again, I'll list this website below in the description box below if you're interested in this camera, if you're interested in picking up a spare camera for action adventure for multi-angles or something like that. Definitely cool. So guys, stay tuned and look in the description box below. I'll see you guys on the next product review because I will be grabbing some more products from this company and we'll be reviewing them and putting them to the test. So hopefully we'll get our hands on some bigger and better products and that we'll put through the ringer and we'll test them out for you guys. All right, have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.